What's going on YouTube? I'm Josh, also known as The Adventure Dude. Welcome back to my Dark Souls walkthrough, part 6. Um, in the last episode, just before I ended it, I sadly died. I did get my souls back, however. Um, it was a very stupid death. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm not going to turn human right now. But what I am going to do is... <clears throat> um, let's see here. We're going to... In the last episode, I said that you had to kill the stray demon, which I didn't actually remember its name, but I know it now. The stray demon. I said you had to kill the stray demon to get the uh, peculiar doll. Uh, I was incorrect. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that really fast. And I, yeah, I got the crest shield. That's what I'm using right now. So if you go down here... Come on. Alright. Could have probably jumped. Um, go down this hall. I can get the peculiar doll. Which might as well go ahead and get it. So I don't have to worry about it later. I will come back eventually to kill the stray demon. But right now I don't really care about that. Go ahead and parry this black knight bro. And I'll backstab him. And one more parry should do it. Come on. Oh no! That was my fault. Ugh. I haven't played in a while. It's been a while again since I recorded my last video. Uh, I was doing pretty good there on those parries though, to be honest. I don't know. Sorry about that. Make the run pretty fast back. Um, and then... Uh, not that way. Um, I'm not sure what else I'm, I have planned for this episode. Like I said, it's been a while since I recorded. It's been just a couple days. Three, three days, I guess. Um, let's see here. Uh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, I was heading down to kill. I was in the depths, right? Okay. Yeah, alright, that's fine. That's fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. So we're gonna head back to the depths after this. Uh, I was actually thinking about getting something else. I kind of forgot what it was, though. Aw, oh, you stupid black knight. Bitch. Please give me your sword. Damn it. I've had so much bad luck with getting a black knight sword. Alright. Peculiar doll. There we go. I like how that looks. It's pretty cool. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and run back and get the heck out of here. There's the stray demon. You can see him in there. He's just standing there. But at the start of the game, if you look at him in there, he's walking. Pacing back and forth. Um, but yeah, we'll come back for him later. He's definitely one of the harder bosses of the game, I would say. Especially, maybe that's just for me, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I definitely don't like fighting him. So. Oh. Did I not kill this guy? Or are there three of them? Alright, whatever. For those of you that don't know how to fight the stray demon, you just walk on the floor right there in the middle. And it breaks away and you fall down to where he is. And this is how I died last time. These stupid torch hollows. Come on. Alright, I gotta play more strategically. I don't want to die as much as... I feel like I'm playing so sloppy. Read message. Good job. Go straight ahead. Alright, um... Trying to think. There was something else I wanted to do, but I don't remember what it was. I think that I wanted to get some sort of ring. Another ring. I already got the, uh... Rusted iron ring. I don't remember what it was I was going to get. Um, but I wanted to get it before I went back to the depths in Blighttown. So. 
Hopefully I'll remember pretty soon here. Yeah, I have no... Oh, I talked to this guy? Yeah, I got the Pyromancy Flame. Damn, it's been a while since I played. Uh, I need to level up my attunement, I think. Let's go ahead and see. I doubt I can level up. Oh, I can level up once. Let's see, attunement slots. Uh, where does it show that? Uh, oh, at the bottom right. Kind of. Uh, yeah. I think I need to get to 10. So let's go ahead and try and get at least one attunement slot. And then I can start using my Pyromancy Flame. I think I bought Combustion. I think so. Uh, so Pyromancy Flame weigh anything? No. Oh, uh, okay. Um, see if I have any other rings. Alright, I got the Slumbering Dragon Crest ring from killing that dude by accident. And we're at plus two Estus. I got the repair box and all that. Okay, I'm trying to remember. It's been a little while, like I said, already. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and just head back to the depths. I, I, I swear there was something else I was wanting to do. But I can't remember. And this sword is at plus six, I think. Let me just check on that. Oh, plus seven. It's pretty good. All right, let's see if we can get a free humanity off this dude. Nope. All right, now we have to make the long walkway back. Uh. I swear there was something else I wanted to get. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Um. I'm not going to buy anything from her. Uh. Can't think of anything. I, I could buy it. Whoa. I could have bought more, uh. What do you call it? Blooming purple moss, but I think I'm good. I bought, I think I have three. Let me go ahead and check on that for sure. Is it in this section? Yeah, I know I have two. That should be good enough though. There's always the chance that I can find some more while I'm down there. Killing the uh, toxic dart blower people. Alright. No, no, no. Don't even try. Okay. Let's try and make this jump again. Actually, this jump, I'm surprised I made it on my first try. Because, yeah, it is a little bit difficult to make. Uh, like, But you saw me do it in the last the last time I... I don't know how many videos ago. Two, two videos ago I made it. Or maybe... No, it was just last video. I see, I get confused. It's been a while, too. All right. Jump. There we go. And that dog's not there anymore for some reason. I... I wouldn't guess him to despawn. Alright. I do need to kill the channeler, but I'm not going to go in that door over there. I will grab this item, though. Um, I'm going to go around. And I'm going to hit the bonfire on the way, too, just to be sure I don't die. Slide down on the left. And up here. Uh, I think I am going to turn human just to summon Solaire. Uh, no, yeah, I can summon I can summon both Solaire and uh, Lawtrick. But uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to summon both or what. I, I'm thinking about summoning at least Solaire. And Bonfire. But I'm not going to turn human yet. And let me just see. Does this bonfire give me 10? No. So I can also uh, uh, kindle this bonfire. If I feel it necessary. Which I probably don't. Whoa. Get out of here. Yeah that uh, 
plus two S's almost heals me all the way right there. Okay, so... And I already killed Kirk, and I didn't get any items from him. Okay. Get out of my way. He almost poisoned me. This great axe I'm probably not going to be able to wield uh, not for a long time. I don't really feel like I need to. Alright, this box right here. We got a rat in a box. Rat in a box. And these stupid rats. For some reason they just cower. Alright, so this is the way we're going to go to get... Is there an item down there? No. To kill the channeler. Hopefully I don't have any problems killing him. I don't think I already killed him, right? No. It doesn't look like I did. I kind of wish I could use a, a firebomb right now. Or something. Even though I only bought combustion. I kind of wish I bought fireball, fireball instead. Whoa, really? Whoa! Okay, 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 that's not funny. Backing it up. Oh, you're gonna follow me to the end of the earth. Oh, he stopped. Can that shoot in here? Yes, it can. Oh, thank you for coming up here, Mr. Chandler. One hit, you're dead. Alright, I'm gonna. Th there is a large Titanite shard down here I'm gonna grab. And. So that's pretty much why I'm coming down here, even though I already killed the Chandler. And then we'll take that... <clears throat> oh, there's a, two rats in a box right here. Two! Oh, humanity. Thank you. And then... Alright, perfect. We'll, we'll go down this way. Through the tunnel over here. So there is, I think, an item. I don't know what it is. It's probably some souls. Nothing too important. Really? There he goes. Alright. And this way. Oh. Oh, that was a good block. Okay. Wow. They kind of... They're crazy, holy crap. Jumping. That's just annoying. When they get when they get in their attacking motion, they're just frenzy at you. Alright, whatever. I'm poisoned. But I'm going back to the bonfire anyways. Uh, the only other item I really care about, maybe, is the ring of the evil eye, which I won't wear. So I'm just going to skip it, and it's down with the cursed frogs, or the basilisks, whatever you want to call them. So I'll just skip that. Head back to the bonfire, reverse hollowing, and kindle. Uh, because I have so many humanity, might as well. And then I will go fight the gaping dragon. I am not going to summon other players. I think I am online, but I'm not going to. Like I say all the time, I'm just re-saying it. All right, and I still have two, two soft humanity up in the top left there. So that's pretty much why I kindled it, because I already I have so many as well. Alright. I think the first time I ever got invaded in Dark Souls, I was standing on this staircase, like right here. And I just walked away from my uh, game. And I came back just in time to see the invader backstab me. I guess that I didn't really know about invaders. I didn't know about other players getting into my game and killing me back then. That was probably the first time I was ever even in the depths. So you can understand that. I definitely learned my lesson. Don't be human and walk away online. Die. I just want to see. You only get 100 souls from them, but. 
Oh, I got another humanity too. Holy crap. Die. 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 There you go. These guys are freaking annoying to kill. But you can get some good titanite uh, shards from these guys. Either large titanite or green titanite. Which I think green titanite's for fire weapons. Um, and I have enough humanity up in the top left, so it should help my item discovery, but I still didn't get any. And I do have a lot of souls. Kind of wondering if I can level up, which I w I'm just going to say screw it. I'm going to level up at this boss fight, or after this boss fight. Anyways, this boss fight's pretty easy. Um, go down here. We'll summon Solaire for sure. And then over here should be Lotric. Lotrek. I will summon him as well, I suppose. Gotta wait for Solaire to be fully summoned before you summon this guy. There we go. What's up, Solaire? How you doing? Um, if you ever summon another actual another player to help you, you can have your or your friend or your play your other player. You can have them stand up here with a crossbow or a, a normal bow would probably be better because you can aim. Uh, have them stand up here while you go through the fog door, and they can shoot at the gaping dragon from here. And then if you need them to come in, they can always come in after or after a while or whatever. I'm not gonna skip this cutscene because it's kind of cool. The vagina monster. Or vagina dragon. Yep. He's kinda nasty. If you've never seen him before, he looks like a very intimidating boss, but he's really not. Just wait for him to uh, charge like that, and after he's done charging, he stops. And then just attack him some. Uh, it doesn't appear I'm doing much damage, but... Obviously you can cut off his tail like pretty much every other boss in the game which is what I was trying to do which it, should, it shouldn't be too difficult I'll probably get it but uh just make sure you're out of the way when he turns and when he's folded up like that it's a pretty easy strategy especially if you have other NPCs or other players for him to look at like I'm safe right now he's, he's looking at Solaire over there I do want Solaire to survive this boss fight honestly but it might be kind of difficult to get him to survive because he is about dead already. Latrec is probably just too much of a, a puss to uh, acknowledge this fight at all. And normally healing uh, with your flasks heals other players, but it doesn't work for NPCs. And there's Latrec dying. Nice. Solaire is using his lightning. And Solaire is going to die pretty soon here. I'm guessing. Oh, you stupid Solaire. I don't, know, I don't understand why he's dying so easily. He's dead already. But if you do get him to survive, I think you have to get him to survive to have him arrive at An Orlando. Don't quote me on that. I'm just... I think... Because a lot of the time in An Orlando, this the third bonfire in An Ar in An Orlando, uh, he'll be sitting at it. But I think you have to get him to survive this boss fight. I'm not for sure. Because a lot of the time he's actually not sitting there for me. I'll have to look that up and I'll I'll look it up before the next video and I'll uh I will.
tell you how it actually works. If he has to survive that or not. The, his weakest spot, this uh, gaping dragon's weakest spot, is actually his tiny little alligator looking head. Um, but it's pretty hard to hit, especially because his head's up like that most of the time. Let's see if he walks forward here. Uh, yep, he is. Just wait for him to stop walking because he, he can kick you and he'll do a little bit of damage or stagger you or something. And there's the Dragon King Great Axe. Cut off his tail. That actually it makes the boss fight easier. See, he just did the tail whip, but he doesn't have a tail anymore. So it actually is a uh, gameplay strategy too. Not only getting a weapon, but helps you with this boss fight. I'm surprised Latrec is still alive, honestly. If this boss fight's just like, it's just really all about timing. You, just, you gotta be patient, wait for him to stop thrashing like that. And of course he's gonna look at me now. Lotric's about dead now. Yep, there he goes. I still am not going to have any problem with his boss or anything. He, he wasn't necessary, but... It does make it easier. Just makes his attention off of you. If you get him down to low health and he stays at low health, oh, here he goes. I was just going to say this. If you keep him at low he health too long, he throws up like this. And uh, you want to stay out of that. It doesn't kill you, but it will damage your armor and weapons. So, yeah, you got to be careful of that. So, if I were to hit his little, his little alligator head, that does the most damage, I'm pretty sure. I just did like 316 or something. I'll have to uh, see how much damage I do right here. Now I do 187. Yeah. Definitely do more damage on his little head up there. I wonder if you can hit his, the, his tip of his wing. Be an interesting test to do. Sometimes he doesn't do his charging attack for a while. If he just follows you around like this too much, you're just going to have to wait, I guess. And there he goes. Kind of want to hit him in his little head again. Yeah, 316. You definitely do more damage to him there. And there we go. I thank you very much. Blight Town Key. Gotta love Blight Town, right? <sighs> so uh, you get 25,000 souls for that. That's probably like the most souls you get. Like the first boss you get a crap load of souls for. for. I, I think a lot of people consider Gaping Dragon to be like the first real boss of the game. The other ones are kind of... I mean, depending on which direction you go, I guess you could... I don't know. You could go any way find a different boss I guess I guess from the beginning of the game you could go straight to the four kings if you if you get enough souls you go kill uh, Sif uh, in Darkroot Garden and get and then you get the, uh, the the abyss ring or whatever and then you can go fight the four kings that would be considered difficult but uh, the path I've taken on my walkthrough so far a lot of people consider the, uh, the more average path, I would say. And uh, so a lot of people consider the Gaping Dragon to be more of the first real boss of the game. All right, now we have one attunement slot. I will do that. And then I can level up one, two, three more times. So I'm going to go uh, Vitality one more to get at 20. And then Strength 
and I guess endurance. All right, and uh, we still have five minutes left until this. We're at thirty minute mark, so I'm gonna. I'm going to go get the fireball. I mean, I'm trying to figure out the best way to get out of here. I guess it would be this way. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go get the fireball from the pyro dude at Firelink, and then I'm just going to homeward bone back. And that's pretty much going to be the end of the episode. So uh, if you don't want to watch me go get the ring, or the, uh, not the ring, go get uh, the fireball, then you can stop watching here. But you might miss out on something cool that I don't even know is going to happen, or a very pathetic death. Um... What? Hey, come here. These dogs are like... I'm colorblind, so I'm, I think they're purple. But uh, they look skinless. They don't have any skin or fur or anything. It's nasty. Like these moves. Oh! Oh, damn it! Yep, you might miss out on a cool death if you, if you already left. Come on. Nah, I'm not gonna die. Hope not. These torch dudes are really a pain. They really are. Alright. Uh, we'll run up here. I... Th I, I... Um... I wonder if I could get Fire Orb. I don't know the prices of these fireballs and crap, but I think it should be pretty cheap. I was almost, I was, can't talk. I was also thinking about maybe getting a blooming moss. I think it's a thousand. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy one more of these. All right, so I have three blooming purple moss. For those of you that don't know what that's good for, uh, I definitely recommend getting Blooming Purple Moss if you're going to Blight Town, because there's uh, there's these guys that have blow darts and they'll shoot you, and they get you toxic, which it's like triple what poison does. Probably it brings down your health like triple as fast. I guess you'd say I don't know, three times as fast. Yeah. Oh. Um, so yeah, you don't want you don't want to get that. There's quite a few of those blow dart guys down there, especially if you want to get a firekeeper soul, which will increase your Estus to plus three. I definitely recommend getting quite a few of those blooming purple moss. Ah, damn. All right. And Fire Orb is 8,000, but how many uses does it have? It has 6. That's a fair amount. Um, which I sure, I'm sure I have some itemized souls. And this is only 800. So I could probably get both. But, uh, let's see how many itemized souls I have. This should be another 1,000. Alright. And then we'll use one more of something. And I almost have enough to get both. So let's just go ahead and use one more really small one. This is probably like 200. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I could have also, I could also modify this too. I forgot about that. So let's go ahead and get Fire Orb and Fireball. And I am going to modify this a little bit. Let's see here. 
I wish you could use more than one of these at a time. So much. I'm gonna use just two more. These last two. And, oh. Oh, I remember what I wanted to do. But I can't do it yet anyways. <laughs> From the beginning of the video and I forgot what I was gonna do. We might... We could do that next episode. But... Oops. Um... We're just gonna use up all these souls. Okay, only do it twice. Goodbye then. Come back. Alright. Um, so that's all I'm gonna do for this part. I was thinking what I was what I wanted to do that I forgot about was kill Havel and get Havel's ring. Which I could do, but I don't know. I mean I could kill him for sure. I could backstab him until he's dead. Uh but, I don't know. Not sure. Alright, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to rest here. And I will kill Havel next episode. I will try to kill Havel next episode. So, anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to leave a like and comment. If, uh, if you have any questions or you want me to do something in the game. Um... Thanks for watching. Peace out.